In this video, we are going to study mean deviation. Measures of central tendencies such as mean and median are not sufficient to give complete information about given data. There is variability in data due to dispersed or spread out values over a range in data. We need a single number to describe this variability. This can be achieved in finding mean deviation in which we measure absolute dispersion or spread of values about a fixed value, mean or median. Let us see how this is done. Hello friends, you are watching YouTube channel Number Collage. This channel features videos on mathematical concepts. Effort has been made to explore the concepts through basic mathematical ideas. Hope you will like my effort. We will consider the runs scored by two batsmen in their last 10 matches. Runs scored by batsman A and runs scored by batsman B. If we calculate mean and median of the runs scored by batsman A and batsman B, both these values work out to be 53. But that doesn't tell that the performance of two players A and B to be the same because there is variability in the scores of batsman A which ranges from 0 to 117 whereas the variability in the scores of batsman B is from 46 to 60. If we plot these scores as dots on a number line then for batsman A the number line will look like this and for batsman B the number line will look like this. We can see that the dots corresponding to batsman B are close to each other and are crowded around the measure of central tendency mean or median which is 53 in this case while the dots corresponding to batsman A are scattered and more spread out from the mean or median value 53 which shows that the measures of central tendency are not sufficient to give complete information about a given data. We also have to take into account the extent of this spreading out of the values from the mean or median. If the central value mean or median is A, which in this case is 53, then deviation of an observation x from a will be x minus a. Now since the central value a which is 53 lies between 0 to 117 for batsman a and between 46 to 60 for batsman b for x equals 42 a deviation from 53 will be 42 minus 53 minus 11 which is negative while when x is say 58, deviation from 53 will be 58 minus 53, 5 which is positive. So some of the deviations positive and some negative. Now for finding mean of deviations, we need sum of deviations upon number of observations n. The sum of deviations will be 0 upon n. So the mean in this case will be 0. Therefore, finding mean deviation about mean will be of no use to us. The remedy on this is the fact that in finding a suitable measure of dispersion, all we need is distance of each value from a fixed value A, which in this case is 53. And the fact that distance is always positive, whether we measure distance of 30 from 53 or of 80 from 53 both will be positive positive 20 and positive 27 which we call absolute values so we write formula for finding mean deviation md x bar equals sum of absolute values of deviations from a upon number of observations so in order to find mean deviation we have to take absolute values of the deviations from a and not the actual values because the absolute values will always be positive. Pardon me for saying this plus 20 instead of plus 23. Data given is 
फोर सेवन एट नाइन टेन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन एंड सेवेंटीन वी हैव टू फाइंड मीन डेविएशन अबाउट द मीन फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द मीन एक्स पार विच इज सम ऑफ फोर सेवन एट नाइन टेन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन एंड सेवेंटीन अपॉन नंबर ऑफ डेटा पॉइंट्स एट सम इज एटी अपॉन एट सो मीन इज टेन now deviation of respective data points from the mean 10 that is xi minus x bar is 4 minus 10 minus 6 7 minus 10 minus 3 8 minus 10 minus 2 9 minus 10 minus 1 10 minus 10 0 12 minus 10 2 13 minus 10 3 17 minus 10 7 as we have seen we have to take absolute values of these deviations which is mod xi minus x bar and the absolute values will be 6 3 2 1 0 2 3 and 7 and the required mean deviation about mean will be md about mean x bar is sum of these absolute values 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 upon number of observations 8 which is 24 upon 8 3 therefore mean deviation about mean of this data is 3 which also means that the average spread of or the dispersion of each data point from the mean 10 is 3 and this single value 3 represents the variability or it is the measure of dispersion find mean deviation about the median of the data 13 17 16 14 11 13 10 16 11 18 12 17 first we have to find the median for that we have to write this data in ascending order which will be 10 11 11 12 13 13 14 16 16 17 17 18 number of observations is 12 which is an even number therefore median m will be mean of 12 upon 2th observation and 12 upon 2 plus 1th observation so median m will be 6th observation plus 7th observation upon 2 6th observation is 13 plus 7th observation is 14 upon 2 27 upon 2 so median m is 13.5 median is 13.5 also means that half the data points are smaller than 13.5 and the remaining half data points are greater than 13.5 now we have to find mean deviation about the mean for that first let us find deviation of each data point here from the median 13.5 now the deviations of the respective observations from the median 13.5 are 10 minus 13.5 minus 3.5 11 minus 13.5 minus 2.5 again 2.5 12 minus 13.5 minus 1.5 13 minus 13.5 minus 0.5 13 minus 13.5 minus 0.5 14 minus 13.5 0.5 16 minus 13.5 2.5 once again 2.5 17 minus 13.5 3.5 again 3.5 and finally 18 minus 13.5 4.5 we have to consider the absolute values of deviations that is mod xi minus m which will be 3.5 2.5 2.5 1.5 0.5 0.5 0.5 2.5 2.5 3.5 3.5 and 4.5 so the required mean deviation about the median is md about mean m summation mod xi i runs from 1 to 12 upon 12 sum of all these absolute values of deviations 28 upon 12 four threes are four sevens are which is 2.33 so this single value 2.33 is the variability of the data or measure of dispersion which is the average distance of each data point from the median value 13.5
Now we will see how to find mean deviation for a grouped data. We know that data can be grouped into two ways. First, as discrete frequency distribution and number two, continuous frequency distribution. First, let us discuss how to find mean deviation for discrete frequency distribution. In this, we are going to find mean deviation about the mean and secondly mean deviation about median the data in both these cases is given like x1 x2 x3 so on so forth xn and corresponding frequencies f1 f2 f3 so on so forth fn the quantities required to find mean are summation fi i runs from 1 to n and summation fi xi i runs from 1 to n summation fi is also called capital n formula for mean x bar is summation fi xi i runs from 1 to n upon summation fi i runs from 1 to n which is same as 1 upon n summation fi xi i runs from 1 to n for finding deviations of observations xi from the mean x bar we need absolute values that is we need mod xi minus x bar for all i is equals 1 2 3 etc n and now the mean deviation about mean x bar will be summation fi mod xi minus x bar i runs from 1 to n upon summation fi i runs from 1 to n which also is 1 upon n summation fi into mod xi minus x bar i runs from 1 to n so this is the formula for finding mean deviation about mean x bar find the mean deviation about the mean for the data xi 5 10 15 20 25 corresponding frequencies 7, 4, 6, 3, 5. We prepare a table for frequency distribution and the various quantities that we need. Xi, Fi, then Fi, Xi, then mod Xi minus X bar and finally Fi into Xi minus X bar. Values of observations 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Corresponding frequencies 7, 4, 6, 3, 5. Fi xi will be 5 are 35, 40, 90, 60, 125. For finding x bar, we need summation fi, which is sum of all these quantities 25. Summation fi xi is sum of all these quantities, which is 350. So we have n equals summation fi i runs from 1 to 5 which equals 25 from the table and summation fi xi i runs from 1 to 5 from the table is 350 now mean x bar is summation fi xi 350 upon summation fi 25 25 ones are 25 ones are 25 fours are which is 14 5 minus 14 is minus 9 and mod minus 9 is 9 10 minus 14 is mod minus 4 which is 4 15 minus 14 is 1 20 minus 14 is 6 25 minus 14 is 11 now fi into mod xi minus x bar will be 7 multiplied by 9 63 4 multiplied by 4 16 6 ones are 6 3 six are 18 5 11 are 55 and summation fi mod xi minus x bar will be sum of all these numbers which is 158 now we write mean deviation about mean x bar equals summation fi into mod xi minus x bar upon n which is 158 upon 25 25 ones are 25 six are 150 25 threes are 75, 25 twos are 50. So it will be 6.32. This shows each observation xi is at an average distance of 6.32 
from the mean 14. Now for a discrete frequency distribution, let us see how to find mean deviation about the mean. But before that, let us refresh our memories to find mean of a discrete frequency distribution. First, the observations are arranged in ascending order. After that, cumulative frequencies are obtained. Then, observations whose cumulative frequency CF is equal to or just greater than n by 2 are identified where n is sum of frequencies summation fi this value of observation lies in the middle of the data hence it is the required median let us understand this by solving an example find mean deviation about median for the following data xi is 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, 15 and corresponding frequencies 8, 6, 2, 2, 2, 6. Let us prepare a table for obtaining cumulative frequency Xi, Fi and cumulative frequency 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, 15. Corresponding frequencies 8, 6, 2, 2, 2, 6. Cumulative frequency is 8, 8 plus 6, 14, 14 plus 2, 16. 16 plus 2, 18, 18 plus 2, 20, and 20 plus 6, 26. Here, sum of frequencies n is 26. Now, n upon 2 is 26 upon 2, 13. Now, median m is mean of 13th observation plus 14th observation upon 2. So, therefore, this 8 plus 6 is 14, which means both 13th and 14th observations lie in the cumulative frequency 14 and for 14 the corresponding observation is 7 therefore 13th observation will be 7 and 14th observation will also be 7 upon 2 so median m will be 7 at this stage we will create a new column mod xi minus m so 5 minus 7 mod minus 2 which is 2 7 minus 7, 0, 9 minus 7, 2, 10 minus 7, 3, 12 minus 7, 5, and 15 minus 7, 8. And next column will be of Fi into mod Xi minus M. So Fi 8 multiplied by mod Xi minus M 2, which is 16, 6 into 0, 0, 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 3, 6, 2, into 5 10 and 6 into 8 48 summation fi into mod xi minus m will be sum of all these numbers 84 now we write mean deviation about mean equals 1 upon n summation fi into mod xi minus m equals 1 upon 26 into 84 2 13 are 2 4 are 8 2 2 are 4 which is 42 upon 13, 13 ones are, 13 threes are 39, point, 13 twos are 26, 13 threes are 39. So mean deviation about mean will be 3.23, which means that average distance of each observation xi from the median 7 is 3.23, which also is measure of dispersion. If you like this video, Please like, share and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Until then, keep watching Number Collage. Thank you.